Alice in Wonderland On a sunny spring afternoon in the backyard of their home, Alice was trying to paint a picture of her cat, Dinah. Dinah would not cooperate and kept wiggling. Alice finally gave up and decided to lay her head against the tree as the warm sun was making her very sleepy. When she opened her eyes after some time, Dinah was chasing a white rabbit who wore a vest with a pocket watch dangling from it. The rabbit was muttering to himself, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Alice jumped up to follow after them. Dinah, Dinah, called Alice, but Dinah disappeared down a hole after the rabbit. Alice followed quickly behind. She felt herself slipping and sliding down a long tunnel. Whoop! She landed in a pile of leaves. Neither Dinah nor the rabbit were anywhere to be seen. Alice looked around and saw a small door nearby. She stooped down and tried to open the door. It was tiny and there was no key. How could she get through? Looking around, she noticed a bottle that said, Drink me. Quickly, she grabbed it and drank from it. She shot up nine feet tall. She spied the golden key in the corner. But now I'm huge. How will I ever fit through the door now? She thought. She began to cry. The tears flowed and she felt herself shrinking smaller and smaller. Soon, she had shrunk to her normal size again with a key. She went through the small door easily. She entered another room with a table set for a tea party. There was the white rabbit. He sat at the table with a little man who was wearing a top hat and a sign around his neck that said, Mad Hatter. Dinah was sitting at their feet. No room here. Go away cute the Mad Hatter crossly. There's plenty of room right here, cued Alice defiantly. She sat down and helped herself to some tea. The white rabbit, who was called the March Hare, cued. It's my unbirthday. Oh, it's mine too, Alice cued back. The Mad Hatter pulled a cake out of his hat and he, the March Hare, and Alice all took turns queuing Happy on Birthday to each other. After the party, Alice left with Dinah and began looking for a way home. Soon she came to a garden with red flowers all over. How lovely, thought Alice. When she reached out to touch one, she realized that the flowers had been painted. Alice saw three card soldiers painting white roses red. Why are you doing that? asked Alice. Because the queen insists on it, said the two of diamonds. Shh, don't mention her name. Do you want her to hear you? whispered the ace of spades. Too late, said a voice. She's here. It was the Red Queen. The soldiers trembled at the sight of her. You three, off with your heads, hollered the Queen. She pointed at Alice. Do you play croquet? Oh, y yes, Alice nervously replied. Splendid, we shall have a match, said the Queen. A mallet made out of a flamingo was shoved in Alice's hands, and the two of them took turns batting at an armadillo ball. The queen darted around, trying her best to beat the young upstart, but Alice's croquet skills managed to keep her ahead in the match and propelled her to victory. The queen was furious. Off with her head! No one bats the queen! She roared. What? Oh dear, no! cried poor Alice. The card soldiers chased her with axes and maces. 
Alice sprinted through the garden as fast as she could, running forever until finally she dropped to the ground, completely out of breath. She could no longer move. Alice closed her eyes for a second, hoping, 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 and woke to find Dinah clawing at her face. Alice, time to come in! Her mother called from the house. Alice jumped to her feet, wondering, had it all been just a dream or not?